Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload your real covers along with your videos to Instagram. Now, there's a couple of ways that we can do this. The first thing that I want to point out is that your real covers are longer than they are wide, and that's going to work really well on your mobile device. When you're looking at your real covers, they're going to be um, in vertical mode. And sometimes, though, we're uploading a video that, however, is in landscape mode. And what can get really confusing with Instagram is if you're uploading a real cover that and your video is in landscape mode, what can happen is, is it can cut your cover off in weird ways and zoom in on aspects of the cover that you don't want to have zoomed in and it'll look really weird and it'll look wonky. So there's a couple of ways that we can go about doing this. Um, the best way to get your videos uploaded to Instagram in landscape mode with the real cover in the appropriate dimensions is to do it from your iPhone. So that's one of the first things that I'm going to show you how to do. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to save your design. And what I will often do for Instagram, because it is social media, I don't need to worry so much about file size. I will save it as a PNG file. And I'm currently using my demo account, which is the free account. I do not have the option to have a higher quality PNG file. On the pro version, I can make this a higher quality file, which just means it's going to be a bigger file and it'll just be crisp a little crisper and a little cleaner, which can be really nice to have that as an option. However, this will still turn out fine for what our purposes are. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to download this file. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. And then we're going to look at how you can get your real cover to your phone and upload that to Instagram. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is when you are on your, now that we have this image saved to our desktop, you want to send it to your iPhone so that you can now upload it to the Instagram app. This is going to be the easiest way to get your full length real covers with a landscape video. It's the only way that I know how to do it where it works and it doesn't crop anything off. So unfortunately, this is the method that I use for a Mac with an iPhone. However, if you're using a Windows computer or an Android, I don't know what the process is, but I do have other options for you. So this is for Mac users. Um, I don't know if there's an airdrop feature for Android and Windows users. Um, so just taking a look here, this is the file that we want to upload and save to our iPhones to upload it to Instagram with our video. So once we find that, we're going to right click and then what we're going to do is we're going to navigate down to share and you want to make sure that your Bluetooth is on your your laptop or your desktop, whatever Mac computer you're using, as well as your iPhone. And then you're going to click on airdrop. You also need to make sure that it's within range. So if your phone isn't popping up or the device that you want to save it to is not popping up, either the Bluetooth is not connected or it's not within range. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and select my iPhone and then it's showing me that it is sending and then I can go ahead and click done. And now I can see that it has arrived on my iPhone. It just appeared. So that's ready to go. Okay, so now that we have our real cover on our iPhone, you're going to want to make sure that you do the same process on your iPhone for getting your video onto your iPhone. So if you recorded your video, um, you know, via Zoom or your desktop, you're going to want to airdrop your video to your iPhone so that you have it on your iPhone as well. If you've already recorded on your iPhone and it's there, that's great. Um, so what we're going to want to do next is we're going to want to upload our video with our iPhone, with our new Instagram real cover. Um, just so that everything looks good and nothing is cut off. And you're going to see what I mean here. So I'm going to go to the Instagram app and we're just going to do this for test purposes. So I can use the plus sign at the bottom of the screen or at the top, right? And when I click on the button, I'm going to get some options. Um, if your real, if your video is longer than 90 seconds, it's just, you know, a regular video for Instagram. Um, reels are 90 seconds and less. So just go ahead and click post if your video is longer. Um, so what you can see here is this is the Instagram cover of my video. But what I want to do is I want to upload the video first, and then we go ahead and do the um, cover later. So I'm going to find a video as a demonstration. I'm just going to grab this one because it's in landscape mode. It's a very short video, but this would work, you know, if you had a five minute video, seven minute video, it doesn't matter. So once I find the video that I need, I'm going to click next. And then I have some editing options in this 
uh, on this screen. So for instance, if you look at the little happy face looking guy in the top right, when I click that, I'm going to get a ton of options. So one thing that you may want to do is click on the captions button and it will add ca auto captions to your video. Now, in this case, there is no sound, no talking in this video, so it's not going to do it but Instagram actually does a pretty good job of adding captions. So that's a feature that I always recommend when you're doing talking head style videos. Um, the other thing you may want to do is maybe you want to add some text. You could go ahead and do that. You could also add in, if you had, let's say a logo or something, you could navigate to the, the photos tab. I don't have a logo in here, but let's just say you did, you could upload a logo. Um, and the other thing that you might want to do that's handy is add some music. So you can use, um, you know, trending music, find popular mu music, or you can do a search for the type of music you want. Um, I often like to add music to the background if it's not already, not already in the video. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is click next. And when you click next, um, you are now brought into the screen where you can add a real cover. So as you can see, what it's done is it's pulled a cover from the video. Sometimes that's handy, but oftentimes it's nice just to have your own cover that has the title. So if I click on edit cover, what I can do is I can either find a cover from the video. And the reason that it looks distorted is because it's bringing its it's making the file size the same size as a real cover, but we uploaded a landscape video. Um, a landscape video. So what we're going to do instead of pulling a thumbnail is we're going to say add from camera roll down at the bottom. And when I click add for, from camera roll, I can navigate and find the real cover that I uploaded. And as you can see, it brought the real cover in. Everything looks really nice. The next step here is to go to profile grid. And now I want to make sure that it's all nice in my, that it's going to look good in my Instagram feed. So I'm just using my finger to drag this around as needed to find where I wanted to go. I use two fingers to blow it up. Um, that's not something you would ever really need to do, but as an option, just in case you, you did need to do it, it's there as an option. So I want, I don't really want, um, Colleen's head to be cut off. So I'm going to drag this down a little bit. I can, st it's okay if it's cut off a little bit. Um, I can still see the title here. I think everything looks good. So now let's go ahead and do a test. I'm going to say done. And then the next thing you would do is you would, you know, just type in your caption or copy and paste, and you can add in any other, you know, tags, you can send it to Facebook, do anything else that you normally do. And then you're going to click share. And when I click share, it's going to take a moment. Then it's going to post this video to my feed. And then we're going to double check that it looks good on both um, the real tab as well as the static Instagram tab. So now that is uploaded. And as, as you can see, when I um, just take a look here, Colleen's image is showing up very nicely in my grid. Her head's not cut off. It's placed the way that I wanted it to. And if I navigate to the reels tab, as you can see, it's it's showing up very nicely. Okay, so that's how you can upload your videos that are in landscape mode with a real cover that is in vertical mode to Instagram without having your video or your or your Instagram real cover being distorted in any way. 